we got Marquise here. If you guys want to get rolling, who would like to uh, who would like to start it off? Yeah, Marquise. What? So let's just start right here. What what happened with the fake with the punt, the block punt? Where did that go wrong? Well, the first thing I'll say is you know great execution and great effort by Dallas being able to time it up and you know get an opportunity to block a punt. For us, more so, it's just more so cleaning up and you know our technique and our footwork and our pad level. That's where it came down to is more so overall just our technique and fundamentals and just being clean and consistent with that. No matter what time of the game is that's happening on, just being detailed with that. But all the credit to Dallas. Well, what's the concern level from you in your overall special teams operation at this point? Because there's there's been a few breakdowns throughout the course of the year. Not obviously always punt, but between some of the kick coverages and and some of the returns. Like where where's your confidence level in the special teams at the moment? I have a lot of confidence in our special teams. Again, Mike, we get better with reps. And, you know, big picture-wise, this is only – we haven't even finished this half of the season with, the, you know, new staff, new players, new philosophies, new concepts, new teaching techniques. So can't really – I know there's a couple – there's been a couple, you know, like minus plays as if every team in the NFL. But, you know, everybody gets paid, you know, just like us getting an opportunity to have some positive plays on special teams as well. So being able to clean that up. And being able to, you know, adapt to the roster, adapt to guys that are active, inactive, guys that are playing, and getting the, the 11 out there and being able to play together and operate at a high level. So we're only going to get better with reps. And, again, we're excited that we get the opportunity to play Thursday night. And the last thing for me, uh, if Cordero can't go, is that April Williams then at that point? We'll see. We don't know what it's going to shake out like when it comes to the roster. We'll find out more come game time. So whoever's out there as a returner, as a gunner, as, you know, whatever position it is, like we're going to play with the 48 that are healthy and ready to go come Sunday or come Thursday. Thanks. Mark this is Josh. Do you, um, is there any trend line through Bill Belichick special teams units through the years that you've noticed? Say that that one. Is there any what? Is there any trend line? Is there anything that's a common de denominator in all of his special teams units that you notice particularly? Uh, you know, they believe in you know being able to cover kicks. You know, be aggressive, being able to control field position when it comes to covering kicks, being able to uh, have great situational awareness and being able to execute when it comes to various situations within special teams. I know that they pride themselves in that and making sure that they know the rules within the game. So those are things that they really harp on. And you can see it on film when it comes to various phases in special teams or various situations, situations within those phases. How did I answer your question, Josh? Yes, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Tanisha or Scott, do you guys have anything? Or Chris? No, all good here. You're good. Chris, anything? All good here. All right, guys. Does anybody else have anything for, for Coach? All right. Well, thank you, guys. Appreciate the time. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Marquise.